Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I deep condition my hair. I do so pretty much on every single wash, so which is typically once a week for me. Really simple, but I just thought I'd show you the product I use and how I do it. So I've had my hair in a puff for good week now it was really nice like I had it in a twist out and then I put the twist out into a puff but now it's completely uh, reverted and it's disheveled not sure if you can see but it's very very dry it's got to the point now if I take it out like I could just walk around and people might still think I have the pineapple still in it's that dry can you see goodness me I've let, I really let my hair go so we're gonna let the conditioner or deep conditioner work its magic should I make this a thumbnail as you can see these little chunks were where the twist once were so I'm actually gonna just take these chunks and use those, detangle my hair, cleanse my hair, and then I'll come back and show you how I deep condition. I'm out of the shower now, hair is all clean. But I'm gonna keep it in these twists, but here's where I now apply my conditioning treatment. My two favorites are As I Am Hydration Elation and Shea Decadence's Deep Conditioning Repair Custard, which is the one I'm using today. It's an intensive conditioning treatment for dry, damaged, color-treated hair. I wouldn't say my hair is damaged, certainly not color-treated, but it is dry, dry by nature. So anything that says moisturizing, hydrated, or for dry hair, I kind of uh, lean towards. But I really like this as well because it's got sulfur extract, Sulfur is really, really strengthening. A lot of people use it to speed up the growth of their hair and also just retain that length and strength to their hair. So this kind of tips the scales in between a protein and moisturizing treatment. This is the consistency. So as you can see, it doesn't move super easy. It's really, really, really thick and I like that. Between my hands and just start always working from the ends up. We're chasing the easy life We're chasing the sun tonight We're chasing the easy life Easy life uh. So now I simply put my hair into a plastic cap or plastic bag, whatever I've got available at the time. So now what I do kind of depends on my scheduling. So I always deep condition for 20 minutes. I'm not a uh, overnight deep conditioner, just by preference um, and time available to me. I'll either sit under a hooded dryer, just one of those universal hooded dryers they attach to any of your hair dryers that you have. If I've got things to do, like for the time being during my acting class, I've got a lot of lines to learn. I need to be able to speak out loud and hear myself. Um, I can't use a hooded dryer. So what I will do, as you might be able to see over here, is I will flip a beanie over my radiator. This one is just my everyday beanie. It's by Scats. I bloody love it because it's satin lined. So that's perfect as well for all of my little exposed edges here. They're not gonna catch on this. It's just gonna be nice and smooth. But I pop it on the radiator so it's nice and warm and then throw this on. Just throw it on top and I can feel the warmth already. <laughs> I look like a smuggler. Okay, and boom. So now I can actually just continue with my day and be a bit more productive with my time. But that warmth is still going to work on my um, plastic cap that's underneath. That's really gonna help the heat and steam penetrate, open up my hair shaft, get that treatment deep within the cuticle. Definitely think if you've got low porosity hair, if you've got damaged hair, if you've got super dry hair, try using heat to some effect because that's really gonna help it work. So that's what I'm gonna do, leave this on for 20 minutes and I'll show you what my hair looks like afterwards. Admittedly, it's been sitting in my hair for about a half hour, if not a bit more, just because I got distracted. 
but now you can see all that warmth has helped my hair absorb it. It's so, so soft. As much as I love you, YouTube, I'm not gonna take out all of my twists because it just um, prevents it from tangling up. But I will take out a couple just so you can see. It's hard to translate on screen, but hopefully you can just see how soft it is. Just more malleable compared to how it was before. And I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and style my hair. This is what my hair is looking like the next day after washing and deep conditioning. It's got a lot more movement to it, which is what deep conditioning does, just imparts some moisture right the way into the cuticle um, and all those brilliant moisturizing properties, which is essential for dry textured hair. And this is obviously only day one hair, so it's gonna stretch and get even longer as the days go on and when I rebraid. You can just see all that texture all that softness, richness in colour. I can't get over my, this is a good, this is a good hair day. This is a good frigging hair day. And I think I'll stick with braids for a while and I haven't even separated them. They've just done their own thing. So anyway, that is how I deep condition. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you deep condition. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.